Hello everyone, my name is Zenitsu, and I'm back with another Digimon spoilers video. So over the past couple of days, we got some new and interesting spoilers, so let's just go right over them. First up, we have Shademon. So Shademon is a level 4 black Digimon, stats not really anything too special there, but what is interesting is the fact that we have another security Digimon. So the first time that we saw security Digimon was back in BT-03, and they weren't really doing a whole lot back in BT-03, they were just a Digimon with the security ability, where if it is checked from the security after that security battle, then it goes onto the field for free. So this has that ability as well, and then on top of which, this also has the ability of blocker. So not only does he have the security ability, but he also has the blocker ability as an additional benefit. So that way, if he's checked from the security, he'll go into the field, and then you have an additional blocker that could potentially like save you from uh, the opponent continuing to aggress onto your security. So that's just one really, really powerful and interesting aspect of the card. And then it does have a drawback where during your turn, this Digimon can't attack, which is totally fine because this Digimon doesn't need to attack. He's just there to be a blocker that comes out for free from the security, and then you could just use him to Digivolve up into whatever Digimon you want to aggress with. So I definitely really, really like this card, and I really definitely like that they are finally expanding on the security ability. So I was waiting for a card like this to happen. This card was inevitable to come out, and I'm very happy that it's finally coming out. Next up, we have another dual tamer, or duo tamer. This time, it is going to be Izzy and Mimi. So, Izzy and Mimi is a uh, four-costed green tamer card, and it has the ability where, during the start of your turn, if your opponent has a rested Digimon, then you gain plus two memory. So, this is a really good ability. It does look like all of these uh, four-costed duo tamers are going to have like this type of ability, where they're just going to gain you two memory for the opponent having something or not having something. So, that just seems to be the trend that they're all going to be following. And then it also has another ability where during your turn, when your green level 5 Digimon attacks, you could rest this tamer, check the top three cards of your deck, and then you get to choose a level 6 green Digimon among them, and then basically just a Digivolve right away without paying the Digivolution cost. And then the rest of the cards go on the bottom. So basically, this is just Jagamon's ability on a Tamer, and uh, while Jagamon isn't necessarily the greatest Digimon in the world, he's a really interesting Digimon that you kind of need to like build your deck around, so that way you could like try to optimize his ability to just Turbo Digivolve. Uh, it's really interesting seeing it on a Tamer, because you could just do this whenever with whatever, so you're not really bound or restricted to just playing Jagamon for that type of effect. I don't know if this card's going to see exactly a whole lot of play for that effect. I do think that it's just a gaining to memory effect is really, really good, because there's so many ways to get your opponent's Digimon at rest, and keeping them at rest, that uh, just the free to memory could be good enough. And then on top of which, it has basically all Tamer security abilities, where you get to play it for free if it's checked in the security. So this is definitely a really interesting tamer to be playing around with. I don't know if this card's exactly going to see a whole lot of play, but it's definitely a really interesting card to think about, and it definitely can cause some really interesting decks to be born from this type of ability. And then next up, we got a new promo card that kind of goes along with the Vitality Bracelet that is going to be launching in Japan. So if you get a Vitality Bracelet, then apparently you get one of these promos. And this is actually a really, really powerful card. So the card is going to be Pulsemon because, you know, he's the main Digimon of the Vitality Bracelet. So he gets his own card now. And then he is a uh, level 3 yellow Digimon. Stats aren't anything too special, but what is really good about the card is the fact that he has a very powerful when played ability. So his when played ability is uh, if your security is 3 or more, then you get to draw one card. And then if your security is 3 or less, you get to gain one memory. So this means this card is going to be good basically at all stages of the game, because if your security is, like I said, three or more, then you get to draw a card, or if your security is at three or less, then you gain one memory, or if you just are at three security, which yellow really wants to do, and yellow could easily do, then you get both effects. So uh, the amount of utility and power that this card brings just is going to cement it as a really solid staple for the color. 
just because it has a whole bunch of different synergies with what we already have. On top of it just being a very high utility card, just makes something like this highly, highly desirable for a lot of yellow decks, and it's probably going to end up seeing quite a bit of play, and hopefully the English version, it won't be exactly tied to the Vitality Bracelet, so that way there's going to be plenty of this card to go around. And this is definitely going to be a very, very powerful card if you are playing yellow, and you definitely want this card if you're playing yellow. Even if you're not playing yellow, this card's still just good because of uh, it having an on play ability. So that way you don't even necessarily need to be playing yellow to make this effect work just because it is just statically good and uh, it is just all determined around your security. And yeah, like this card's just absolutely insane. I really like this card and this card has just so much potential. It's actually kind of crazy. Next up, we have uh, Wyselen. So Wyselen is a green option card that costs six, and it has a really powerful main ability of uh, choosing up to two of your opponent's Digimon, and then those Digimon can't attack or block until the end of the opponent's turn. So that's already pretty solid. We've seen that type of effect before on Forbidden Temptations, which only costs four, but it targets one Digimon, so this is two, and uh, it only costs two more. And then on top of that, it also has the added benefit where if you have a Digimon with Digiburst on the field, then you gain two memory. So basically, if you have a Digimon with Digiburst, then this only costs four because you're going to be gaining the two memory. You have to just keep in mind uh, that you need to watch out for the opponent's memory stoppers like Chumon, Gazimon, or Terriermon. So that's just one big thing you need to keep in mind. But regardless, the fact that this could potentially cost you, in quotation marks, four for basically everything that Forbidden Temptation is doing but more is just really, really solid. So I don't necessarily think this is like a bad form of power creep just because of Forbidden Temptation is a card that really wasn't do anything, and them making a slightly better but slightly different version of that card doesn't necessarily mean it's power creep, it just means that they're taking a bad card and making it more playable in a different version. But this card's still a very, very solid card and definitely an interesting card to think about. And then on top of that, it even has the nice security ability where until the end of the turn, choose up to two of your opponent's Digimon and those Digimon can't attack. And then afterward, if you have a Digimon with Digiburst on the field, then you gain two memory. So this is doing even more than Forbidden Temptation in terms of its security ability, just because its security ability also has the potential of gaining you two memory if you control a Digimon with Digiburst on your field. So this card's just a very, very solid card and definitely one I would definitely consider testing, depending on the type of green deck that you're really looking for, just because as we know right now, based on a whole bunch of uh, stuff that green was already doing. They're not really playing a whole lot with options. Most of the time, they're just trying to turbo out into their level 6s and level 7s, and then basically just dominate the board with those Digimon, and uh, this definitely helps a lot of uh, other green decks, where if that's not your goal, then this is definitely a really powerful card that you could consider utilizing, especially if you're just trying to play around with some Digiburst synergy, then it just has some extra benefit there. So I definitely really like what this card is doing, and I think this is going to be a very powerful card to watch out for. Next up, we have Gigimon. So Gigimon is a level 6 yellow Digimon. Statwise is doing something very, very similar to Spinomon that we saw in red in the previous set. So it has a play cost of 10, a Evo cost of 2 off of yellow, which is his respective color, and 10,000 DP, which is a little bit on the weaker side, but the important thing is the fact that he does Evo for two, so that way you could use him to turbo and tempo up into your level sevens that much more efficiently. Right now, uh, Yellow only has uh, Chaos Mon Volder Arm as their level seven, but who knows? They could be getting more, and uh, this card could be really, really good. I don't necessarily know if this is going to be like better than Magnadramon for that Evo for two slot, just because Magnadramon does have 2,000 more DP. And in a color like yellow, the DP does matter a lot just because uh, your cards aren't necessarily going to be as powerful as the opponents on average, but yellow does have a whole bunch of ways of debuffing the opponent's Digimon, so who's to really say how good their stat lines actually are? 
But regardless, he does have a really interesting and powerful ability of a when destroyed ability, you get to recover one. So one of the big themes that Yellow's been playing around with is recovery, and this is a really nice card to just cap off uh, being able to recover on the mega level, just because it, you want to be a little bit more aggressive, and uh, the when destroyed ability definitely incentivizes you to want to attack with it more. And then if he just so happens to die from a security check, then you just get to recover one, and that's still just pretty good, because in the recovery style deck, you're trying to play like this game of attrition, where you're just trying to outlast at your opponent and chip away at your opponent. So this is a very fantastic mega for that type of strategy, and him evoing for two definitely is really, really good because it helps with his overall playability because he's just, you know, really easy to get up into. I don't know exactly how good this card's going to be in the long run, but for what the card is, he definitely seems pretty decent. And then the last card that we got over the past couple of days uh, is going to be Nightmon. So Nightmon is a yellow level 5 Digimon, and stat-wise, he's not really doing anything too special, but what is really, really powerful about the card is the fact that he has a nice uh, on play ability where you get to choose uh, one of your opponent's Digimon, and then it gets minus 4,000 DP until the end of the turn. So minus 4,000 DP is already pretty okay. It's not amazing, but it's not, like, awful. And then you could just use this card to... Uh, stack it up with a whole bunch of other minus DP instances to end up deleting a Digimon that's larger than what he initially could before. So that's just one application on how you could utilize this ability. But what's really good about the card is the fact that he also has Warrior in his attribute. So that way we finally have a card that Crusadermon can use her ability to pull from. So Crusadermon's ability on attack allows you to pull a level 3 yellow Digimon from your hand and put it onto the field free or a uh, yellow warrior type Digimon and uh, put that onto the field for free from your hand as well. And no, this does not work with any like warrior additions where it's like it does not work with mystic warriors. It does not work with holy warriors. It just needs to be a warrior. And Nightmon is the first yellow warrior, like warrior warrior that we have to synergize with that ability. So that's just one really, really powerful thing that uh, could go and synergize it with a Crusader Mon because, you know, getting a free level 5 that has an on play ability of minusing the opponent's DP is just really, really strong because, again, you could pair it up with a whole bunch of other abilities to stack and delete one of the opponent's Digimon, or just getting a uh, level 5 body out for free is still just a very powerful tempo swing just because you could use it to Digivolve up afterward. You could just sit on it and try to, like, a grass and play more of a go wide strategy like it's just a very solid card with some very solid synergy but that is just one really important thing to note about crusader mod because i did kind of like misspeak about when i initially spoiled the card before it only just works with warriors nothing else but outside of that, this card is definitely looking like it's going to be a pretty interesting card, and it's going to definitely go in that Crusader Mon deck that is going to be forming out of the set. So that's all the spoilers that we got over the past couple of days. We definitely got some really new and exciting cards, and I definitely think that the set is shaping out to be pretty good. So that's all I really have for this video. As always, feel free to tell me your thoughts down in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.